Hi, my name is Peter Gangler, um, and I said I'm going to talk about a day in the life of Rob Pike. Uh, so first, a quick segue about who I am and who I work for is pertinent to the slide deck. Um, I'm an engineer at JumpCloud. We do directory as a service. Uh, you can think of that as next-gen active directory in the cloud. Uh, we're located in downtown Boulder, next to Boulder Theater and across from Courthouse, and we are hiring. Here we are. Um, so the first question you probably should be asking is, who is Rob Pike? You probably know this one. We're not talking about him. We are talking about this Rob Pike, which is our resident beta fish at JumpCloud, um, also known as a Siamese fighting fish. So now you should be asking yourself, why am I listening about a fish? Um, we're going to use him as a foible to look into the daily life of a Golang developer through a fish eye lens. Um, we're going to talk about tools and habits. Um, the reason I think this is important is because it's a question I get fairly often when I'm interviewing people. Um, they want to know what it's like working at Jump Cloud, which is really a proxy for what is it like working in kind of the startup y Golang community in the Denver and Boulder area. Um, also, I get to show some pictures of fish, which is neat, um, much harder to take than I thought they were. And perhaps most importantly to me, it motivated me to build a cool fish tank lid. Uh, it was in the planning stage for more than a year, so this was my motivation to finish it up. So we'll start our story about Rob Pike's first day um, on how he was acquired. Uh, so at JumpCloud, we have a little bit of a tradition. When people go on extended vacations, they get something like their desk decorators and like that. Um, we wanted to step up our game, so we decided to give Robert, pictured here, a present um, of a fish when he came back from Hawaii. Uh, he was assigned the new hire buddy, which is standard practice uh, at JumpCloud for all new hires to ask questions of, get oriented, understand the code base. Um, Rob started attending our morning sc uh, scrum stand-ups. Um, he's on a team of about four to six developers and embedded QA people, um, followed kind of an agile process. Um, and he starts by bringing up his general workstation. So there's some repos and tools to help with that. Um, we heavily use Docker and Docker Compose to help isolate dependencies and make that process as smooth as possible. And then he starts reading literature about the product. He gets meetings where different uh, product managers and engineers will tell him about pieces of the software, the architecture. He'll start exploring some code bases. Um, now, it's fairly common, Rob Pike came to Jump Cloud not knowing Golang. Um, Golang developers are hard to find, as people who are looking to hire probably know. Um, so we decided we would teach him Golang. However, he was a little uncomfortable, jumped out of his fish tank twice, real story. Uh, second time was a very close call. Um, and we learned at that point in time that that is a native habit or a native behavior for uh, beta fish. They like to jump from pond to pond in their habitat to explore. Um, so we gave him a makeshift lid so he could be a little more comfortable and secure in his habitat, and then started him on some going training classes, exploring some of the existing code bases and stuff. So the next thing for Rob Pike to do is to start fixing a bug. Um, like a lot of companies, probably, we have a curated list of what we'll call onboarding tasks that we, we give him so they're not too big, not too small, give a good view of the code base. Um, he's going to use GitHub for all of his code, um, uh, check-ins and commits and stuff. He finds a standardized services layout um, in, the, in the various repositories of JumpCloud, um, common commands, instrumentation layers like we've been hearing about, hearing about with uh, metrics, tracing, logging, et cetera. Um, he's going to learn how to use gRPC internally for communication between the microservices. And he's going to learn how to expose RESTful uh, endpoints for external consumption by our customers and, and other services. Um, just like he learned in the workstation setup for using Docker Compose, he also has Docker Compose per repository so that he can quickly bring up the services that he wants to debug. Um, and we don't have a religious feel on your editor of choice, so he gets a pick amongst them, Emacs, et cetera. He might get some, some beef from his coworkers and his teammates potentially, but he gets his own choice there. Um, he also uses Ginkgo and GoMega, uh, some nice kind of TDD, BDD uh, tools for writing tests and exploring code. So next up, he's, it's time for him to push his first feature. So he uses what's called the GitHub flow, roughly, not to be confused with the Git flow. Um, there's essentially a master branch. He makes a short-lived feature bug branch for his onboarding task. He's going to make commits against there. When he's ready, he will submit it for a code review. Um, at JumpCloud, we do two code reviews, um, partially because it's part of our SOC 2 compliance statements, but also because code reviews are a very good way to both learn and share information, um, not as necessarily catching bugs, but, but more kind of that communication part. Um, he pushes his code up to Travis, the I, where it's built um, and tested. It uses a really neat tool called Review Dog that'll bark at you for linting errors, um, which is kind of fun. And then he uses SaltStack, uh, which is a chef puppet ansible like tool to uh, 
push his code out to a staging QA environment um, where there's a mix of manual automated tests. At this point in time, he picks one of his teammates, Phil, his second adopted parent, uh, to help him release production, and he goes and pushes it. Kind of continuous deployment ask, um, but you know, with a little bit of manual bits in there. At this point in time, Rod Pike has completed his journey from novice Golang developer through learning Go, learning the systems and onboarding, fixing his first manageable task, and pushing that code to production. And so he has received a promotion from junior developer to full developer, and perhaps the most important part of the talk, a new laser cut jump cloud lid for his habitat so that he can be happy and safe and keep developing his tenure at jump cloud. That is my talk. Hope it wasn't too odd and hope it gave you a little view into maybe a less technical but interesting part of Golang developers' lives. <laughs>